Hello there. My name is Hugh, Q Morris, to be exact. Those of you who know their anatomy, especially of the upper limb, may have gotten the reference. Anyway, I just realized that I never thought about how the bones in my skeleton actually work. For example, if I go for a long run, or if I overdo my wild dance moves, then my leg bones must be overloaded, and may even sustain tiny amounts of damage. But how is that damage sensed? There must be some cells involved. But which cells, and what are they doing? I need to lie down, and think about this. This is what I normally imagine when I think of a bone, but they surely don't start out this way so where does it all begin? Um. Hello Hugh, I'm Julie, your subconscious advisor on all orthopedic related matters. It all starts off very small, with these cells called, osteoblasts. They create tissue, which gradually hardens, to become bone. Over time, some cells become embedded here and become other cells called, osteocytes. The great thing about osteocytes is their connectedness. Through their processes, which you can see here, once enough bone has been built, the osteoblasts reduce, and become bone lining cells. Now, let's turn this around to have a closer look. So, if you have overexercised, perhaps you run marathons, take part in military training, or even, tend to overdo those wild dance moves. Then small areas of tissue become damaged. These are known as, micro cracks. These micro cracks, get repaired by big cells called, osteoclasts. Watch, as the osteoclast digs into the bone, and removes the damaged tissue. Once its work is done, the osteoclast disappears, and, the surface is covered again by osteoblasts, which then fill in the area with new and improved bone. But, what is directing that osteoclast? Some of the friendly folks at the ORS are trying to answer that very question. They believe, that it goes back to the well-connected osteocyte network. Watch, as the little red signal goes from one osteocyte to another. The signals go between these cells, but can also travel to where the osteoclasts live, thus can call them to damage sites. Well, Hugh, I hope you understand a little more now, about the fascinating way the bones in your skeleton work. I must go now, see you around. Wow! I feel very enlightened now. The ORS certainly does a lot of great work, I hope they continue to do so. Goodbye, everybody.